In our earlier RoboHelp feature video on hypertext, we discovered how easy it is to make hypertext links. We learned that it's possible for us to actually select text and simply drag a topic over it, and that's how these hypertext links were created. We also discovered that if a entire graphic is selected as this one is, that we were able to simply select a topic, um, and in this last case we chose bookings uh, for um, booking travel and dragging that topic over this illustration actually made it active as a hyperlink that's already been done to see how this works let's let's go into our um, preview of our selected topic and in the preview of the selected topic you'll see that this photograph is indeed active here we have a pointy finger and if we click on it it carries us right out to the area on how to book travel we can hit the back button and what our goal is <clears throat> looking at this HTML preview is we'd like to take this screen capture down below and actually make different portions of it active our goal is to take that first category expense type airfare billable consulting and make just that have a hyperlink to a particular area and we do this with a feature called image maps or image mapping so I'm back into the topic itself I've gotten out of the preview and this is where we physically do our editing and notice something um, about the icons if you look up here at the top you'll see that there are various um, graphic icons and it's very subtle but when I click on the graphic and the graphic becomes active we actually have a few extra icons that weren't here before and these all have to do with creating an image map I'm selecting I'm selecting the rectangle and a tooltip tells me to create image map using rectangle shape. All I have to do is to simply draw a rectangle over the field that I'd like to be active as a hyperlink. And then as I do this, <clears throat> I could either make this jump out to a URL up here at the top where it says link to, but in this case what I'd like to do is to go to a different portion of my document. So I'm going into the travel section and I want to choose expenses because this has to do with filling out expenses for travel. I'll simply click on OK, and it's just that simple. We now have a hyperlink over that that's going to take us out to that place. So I'm going to simply save the topic, and let's go ahead and generate a different preview. Now as we generate the preview this time, uh, just as I was able to click on the photograph of the globe, <clears throat> what you'll notice is, as I move down, notice that I get a pointy finger when the cursor goes just over that field and as I click on it it now jumps me out to a company policy on how to fill out expenses and then I can go ahead and hit the back button it's just that simple to create image maps um, obviously what I would do to complete this is I probably would create a another image map rectangle over each one of the fields and have it link to the appropriate area with information for the users this makes your help much more friendly uh, much easier navigation and it also can really cut down on customer support calls. One more way that RoboHelp creates powerful projects, in this case using image maps. This concludes our brief demonstration.